Hello and welcome back. My name is Amir and in this video we are going to solve probably two more of the puzzles here in the Code Wars website. So let's go. This has one issue so we will skip this one. Let's get this one and probably this one because the rest of them have some issues and we don't want to face any issues. Okay, let's go and see what we have for this one. Write a function that will check whether any permutation of the characters of the input string is a palindrome. Okay, so for example, madam is true because if we remove uh, like m a m a, we would have d, and the same is here as well. The brute force approach would be to generate all the permutations of the string and check each of the each of them whether it's a palindrome or not however an optimized approach will not require this at all uh, okay let's go and try to solve this one uh, so uh, the thing that I would like to do is have like a set for the letters and if I don't see a letter in the set I would add it and if I see a number, uh, a letter in the set, I will remove it. So for example, I would go here, I don't have any M, so I would add M to the set, and at the end, when the M, I reach here, then I have M, so I would remove it, because I know that I can use the M for permutations. And then, at the end, if like, uh, the remaining characters are like less than two, then uh, it's fine. Okay, so let me write the code, it might get clear. So I'd go here and say, uh, let's write it as JavaScript. So, const permute. And we would get a string like this. And we would say that, okay, the set is a new set, like this. I need to check put this in uh, JavaScript okay so like this and we would say that uh, let set be the new set like this and then for each character in the set so for let uh, character of the string I would say that if the set has that character we would remove it so set that delete the character otherwise we would just add it to the set And uh, here I would say that return if set dot size is less than or equal to um, one, then it's fine. So if has one character or less zero characters, then it's a permutable um, set, so to say. So let's test it. Okay, this should be semicolon. Test it again. Yeah, this is str. Yes, attempt. Awesome, let's go to the next one. Okay, for this one, um, it says that if possible, divide the integers 1 to n into two sets of equal sums okay so if we have like one two three then one and two would go into one set and three would go into the other set a positive integer n is less than one million if it's not possible return this for javascript and python and otherwise we should return a uh, 
array of two arrays like this so all of these are like valid answers for n equals to 8 so for example this one we have 8 then we add 7 here we add 6 here then 5 here and so forth and so on for n is 9 it's not possible yes because like the triangular number for 9 is 45 and you cannot divide it into two groups of the same uh, sum so this is what we should consider in the first place okay so let's go and train this one did I say Python again? So let's go and make it JavaScript. Uh, okay. So first I would check that if n times the next number, uh, which is n plus 1 and then divided by 2 if this uh, remainder of this divided by 2 is 0 then we cannot do the process we would return an empty array so for example 9 would be 9 times uh, 10 would be 90 90 divided by 4 is 45 so from 1 to 9 would be 45 and we cannot divide it into two groups of the same sums okay so let's say we have uh, two sums sum 1 uh, sorry let's say r1 and array 2 and this is like this as asked here now we would iterate through the uh, numbers from n to 1 and would add the number to the first or to the second so I would do something like this I would say for let i going from n uh, we will start from the bigger numbers and go down to the smaller ones until i is uh, bigger or than or equal to 1 and we would subtract 1 from the i i need to say i need to have two sums here so let sum 1 be 0 and uh, the sum of array 2 is also 0 we could do it here as well but let's keep it in a variable here and use it instead of iterating through the whole array and have the sum so okay I would say if sum 1 is less than sum 2 or maybe equal to sum 2 then we would add the number n into the first sum so I would say if uh, sum 1 is less than and or equal to sum 2 uh, we could remove the equal sign but let's keep it we would add uh, to the first array the index and we would add the i to the sum as well and this is sum 1 like this otherwise we would do this for the sum 2 so we would push to array 2 and uh, the sum is this one and when this is done uh, it should be okay we could return the r1 and r2 so let's test this so for the r1 and this is r2 at first we get 8 we would push the 8 here then uh, this is bigger than this one 7 would go here then 6 would go here then uh, 5 would go here these are equal so 4 would go here 
then three would go here, then two would go here, and then one would go here. So it will be 18, and this is 18 as well, which is valid. Okay. So let's go and uh, test this one. Uh, okay, uh, N584 result is incorrect because this has a answer is correct. Okay, so we are missing it somewhere. Ah, okay, this should be not equal. So if this is not equal to zero, which means that we cannot do anything with it, we should return empty array. So let's test it again. Okay, let's correct attempt and we would probably solve it yeah okay awesome so yeah i think this is about it for this video in the next video we will continue our journey towards higher levels of uh, kata here thank you for watching and see you in the next video